there is this one person who would like to buy me for $40,000 to ruin somebody else. There is a fine line between expressing our opinions to creating a lie, believing on it, and spreading it on social media. Hello everyone, this is Q&A part 2. Today, I am going to answer the rest of your questions. Some of you have liked the location where I did my first Q&A video. And today, I'm so excited to show you this place. This is one of the places that I go to every time I need some quiet time, alone time, and simply for meditation purposes. Right now, I am at Ladies Garden. Our Lady's Garden is situated in Sibulan, north of Tumagetti. This is a well-maintained park on top of a hill owned by a Filipino-Chinese businessman who also owns a Joe's by the Sea or Joe's Chicken in Atoll, which is famous for their delicious and affordable grilled chicken. So let's just head right on to the first question. During my generation, there was no sex education at all. Even during our biology class, we were so shy and we felt embarrassed whenever we talk about human body parts. Every time we say the word sex, it felt like we've committed the greatest sin on earth because it was that taboo that everybody looks at you when you mention the word. There was no mention about family planning or safe sex. It was like it's all up to us to, to learn about all these things because it was not part of the curriculum. Now, a couple of years ago, the Philippine Education has launched the K-12 curriculum and the president himself added this uh, comprehensive sexuality education to the intermediate level. And I think it's a good start. At the moment, this subject is only taught in regions 1, 7, and 11, where the highest teenage pregnancy is being recorded. And these are Bicol regions, Central Visayas, where I'm at, and also Davao regions. There are 17 regions in the Philippines, and I'm uncertain at the moment if other regions have already added the comprehensive sexuality education subject in the intermediate level. I really believe that this subject is of paramount addition to the schools because I think that it is very important for the kids to know the uh, implications of having children at a very young age or the consequences of having one before they can even establish their life and have the financial means to become a parent. I have seen a couple of comments like this in most of my videos and I would like to say thank you so much for seeing me as one. Now, I don't know about fashion or style, but I can say though that over time I realized that showing too much skin is not a definition of sexy. It is indeed true that a woman can wear anything she likes or a woman can show whatever she's willing to show on or off cam. However, one of the struggles that women face every day is that we are often sexualized, especially on what we wear. And as a woman who is in a relationship, I think dressing appropriately does not only hold classiness. I'm not sure if there is such a word, but it does not only hold classiness, but it also shows a huge respect to your partner. Um, this is just my opinion. You are welcome to, to counter me on that, but everyone has opinions and that is mine. I think that respect begets respect and I believe that for women to gain respect from men, we need to dress appropriately. We are also teaching men to respect us because we discipline ourselves enough or we respect ourselves enough 
to cover it. I simply just don't engage most of the time because these are basically people who just know about a fraction about myself based on a 10 minute video that I produce. I have to admit that a few comments get on my nerves sometimes. We all have our opinions towards another person but there is a fine line between expressing our opinions to creating a lie, believing on it, and spreading it on social media. The latter is not expressing opinions anymore. It is disinformation, it is misinformation. You're already basically judging and putting somebody else down. There is this one person who would like to buy me for $40,000 to ruin somebody else. Maybe on another video, I'm going to share this story, but Yes, it is okay to express our opinions towards others, but I don't think it's okay to actually put another human being down. This channel strives to provide you guys a cinematic meditative video. And if your comment comes across as really negative, I'm sorry, but I have to disapprove it because we would like to make this channel as positive as we can and we don't want that toxicity the negativity of other people we just want this channel to give you that relaxing vibe the values that includes hospitality being highly adaptable to different culture and situations and despite of having rich western influence many women have retained the values of a good wife and this is the best of all Almost every one of us is gifted with a good singing voice. Like, it's like everybody can sing here. I'm not gifted with a good singing voice, but a lot of Filipinos, men and women, are really gifted with a very good singing voice. Also, Filipinos are highly on-demand workers all over the globe, be it domestic help or professional field. I'm not so knowledgeable about this and I'm sorry but I cannot really give you a uh, direct answer but all I know is that the Philippines does not require every tourist to present an itinerary prior to coming here. I'm uncertain as well if it's the Philippines or if it is your country requiring you to present an itinerary because I know that there are some parts of the Philippines that your government don't want you to go to, just like Mindanao or the southern part of our country. I'm pretty shocked to learn this actually because I thought that only us Filipinos are asked by this every time we exit the Philippines. I'm not handling my time so well to be honest. I left out some things that I should be doing. YouTube is new to me and I am yet to learn how to budget my time better so I can manage to do the things I need to do in a daily basis. I choose Vietnam because it is so like the Philippines but at the same time very different. I'm not sure if I'm making sense. Wow, you are really taking a good note of what I said during a live stream one time. I did say that my dream life is to live a simple life, a simple house, surrounded by nature, with my own vegetation, a bunch of ducks roaming around. I did not say chicken. I think I said ducks because I know how it is to live with chickens. When I was growing up, my parents had a lot of roosters and, and um, hens and they are so annoyingly noisy. So I know how it is to live with or near chickens. My dream life is to live simply with a person I love, surrounded by nature, my own vegetation, away from the hustle and bustle of the city life, away from the toxicity and pessimism of other people. Yes, it was indeed a chilly, sunny day.
There is nothing planned at the moment, but if given the resources and the luxury of time, I am eager to explore locally and internationally. And I'm bringing you all with me through whatever my lenses will capture. I wanted to use this kind of music and I agree this is really perfect for the kind of videos that we create here. At the moment, my music selection is rather limited as I only maximize the audio library that YouTube lets us use. I'm not paying size to get better music selection because there can be pros and cons and I also do not want to use the non-copyrighted music on YouTube as well because they can change the setting anytime and if they do you can be hit with a copyright claim and your, your videos will be demonetized and I have a couple of videos that have that problem. I used to just download non-copyrighted music from YouTube and yes they say non-copyrighted but months after they changed the setting and you will get a notification from YouTube that says you have been hit by a copyright claim. As I mentioned on the first Q&A, I use the uh, CapCut editing software to edit all of my videos. I will, however, transition into the paid version and we'll see how that goes. As for Gimbal, from when I started YouTube to this date, I do not use gimbal and I do not own any gimbals. However, I have a very generous um, sponsor who has sent his gimbal uh, to the Philippines. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to that person who has sent his gimbal to me. Thank you for choosing me as the right person to use your gimbal as a photographer. I know that there are shots that are only attainable by using a gimbal and I'm really ecstatic to use it or to have it on my hand. My first choice is Chosen's Cafe. My second choice is this place. Now this is much larger than Chosen's Cafe. This is actually a very good combination of flora and fauna. You don't only see the flowers, the trees, the greens and all that. Also see a few different kinds of animals. It's not every day that I get to ask this question and I really appreciate you asking this question. Thank you so much. I'm happy, I am most content and I'm in love. And I hope that you all are content and happy and in love as well. <laughs> That's about it guys for Q&A part two. I still have a lot of questions to answer so I guess that will be Q&A part three. Before I go, I would just like to thank every one of you for helping me reach 3k subscriptions a few days ago. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do. We make cinematic meditative videos and if that resonates with you, please subscribe to this channel, like to the videos and comment to the videos and yours truly is going to reply to all of your comments. To my Patreon family, thank you so much for being there always. If you want more content and updates that I do not post on YouTube, you are welcome to join my uh, growing Patreon family. At the moment, I have 16 patrons. These are 16 loyal patrons that I have and I'm happy and grateful to have them. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. <laughs> oh gosh! Been sitting here for like three hours to uh, trying to um, film this uh, Q&A. So I've been sitting here for three hours to film this Q&A. Seriously, 
and I've only read 15 questions. So that means every question I had to retake maybe a dozen times. Oh my God, I'm having a headache. I'm dehydrated. I've been talking for three hours. I need to drink water. Okay. Ah, enough.